Hello everybody, welcome back to more Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. So we are on this abandoned ship, I can only assume, considering the fact it was just floating about. There's air. Okay. What? What? Thank you, Squall. You rescued me again. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry about it. I just did what I wanted to do. Now what? The spacesuit was in the way before. Huh? Give me a hug. Come on, school, really? Jesus, dude, do you not understand social cues at all? A real tight one. I need to know that I'm alive. Alive? We still have to get back, though. We may be alive now, but look at our situation. You want to live, right? You want to go back and see everyone, right? And not become other people's memories? That's right. Alright, so... Welcome to the Ragnarok, everybody. Now, for those of you who watched my original playthrough... You probably remember something very special about this part in the game, because this is the part where basically I got forced into using uh, Odin a shit ton because he kept popping up and murdering everything. I don't think we're going to see that this time around, but still, it was pretty fucking hilarious. I've already went through and taken care of junctioning, so everyone here is well equipped. Again, everybody's going to have junctions. I haven't decided who's getting what, but everyone's going to have a set of junctions for the upcoming big end of the game. I'm not going to just have my set team. I'm not doing that shit again. I, uh, I really have tried to make sure everybody was decently equipped. And from the way it looks, I didn't do too bad of a job, all things considered. So that is the goal at the moment. Whether or not that works out in the long run, I don't know. But we're going to do our best, right? The best I can do, right? Let's go. What the? Ah! What is that? I don't know. Let's just try to sneak by it. Better be ready for anything. Let me double check my junction. So. Uh, it's no use. It won't open. I guess we have no choice but down. So here's the thing. These are propagators. Uh, these bad boys apparently got onto the ship at some point, And the problem is that they multiply like fucking jackrabbits. However, the bigger issue is that if you don't kill them in pairs, they don't tend to die. So we have to murder them. In swift pairs. Now I have my notes up on my other screen, so I will be referring to them as I play. No, I don't have this memorized, so sue me. First one is this one. We gotta get rid of him first. Purple is the magic color for today. The magic color first up, which is actually the color of my PC lights near where I'm sitting, which is kind of great, really. That's fantastic. Um... So yeah, we're just gonna... Oh, wow, silence. Hell yeah. It's like, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, he's fucked. He is absolutely fucked. Oh God. Oh, what have I done? Oh no. Oh, this poor bastard. He has no choice. He has no chance. There's nothing he can do. He is forced to take this beating. <laughs> Oh no! I never paid attention. I just auto junction. 
Oh god, what did it do? Oh, this poor bastard. Gets into a fight with me and gets his shit pressed in. Doesn't even have it. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, why? Oh, this poor thing. It had no ch- It had no chance. Absolute- Why didn't it equip blind? That's a better question. Blind would have been- Do I not have blind? Oh, it- Where did it put blind? It put blind on my- Why would you do that on my hit percentage, damn it? That's ridiculous. No, I'm sorry. I'm really upset. Why would you put it on my hit percentage? That literally makes no sense. I already have a 255 hit percentage. Why would you even do that? That doesn't even make sense. This is why you don't trust auto with anything in this game, because it will fuck you right up. There's no need for that. Why would you even waste your time? All right. So that's the first one done. So we got to go kill its uh, buddy, which is actually in here. We got to make a tight turn over here and avoid him. There we are. All right. Another purple one taken care of. So, uh, we've done this before, right? Right? You. Wow, you're asleep, huh? Shit, I'm sorry. You know, I know this is gonna sound really fucking weird for me to question this this late in the game, but how does that work? Like, no, for real, like, how does that even function? Like,. I could see being silenced after you get hit. Like, you get hit so hard it knocks the fucking wind out of you. That makes sense. But in what way do you get... Like, think about this for a second. She shoots him with a wrist-mounted chakram, hits him, and he proceeds to go to sleep. Think about that for a second. You hit this man so hard, he went to bed. I mean... I get it, it's a video game, but game, really? Sleep? All right, we want him. So purple ones aren't gonna come back. We gotta get rid of the red ones next, actually. He ain't much of a problem for us, though. Uh, you know, surprisingly, this is actually way easier than I ever remember it being growing up. Okay, I take that back. The chakram just silences you, okay, but S uh, Squall's um, weapon currently sl How the fuck does getting hit with a literal gun blade put you to sleep? Like, my hits are way more exciting than you just dozing off. Like, you're gonna have to try a little harder in this game. Ah, uh, I don't remember... Hmm. I, I sense I'm more powerful than I was back then. I genuinely do get that idea that I am just a touch. Not too much more powerful, but just a touch more powerful than I ever was back in 2008. Maybe that's me, though. Great, there's just gonna be a fuck ton of dead bodies everywhere. There he is. What's up, homeboy? No Odin this time. That's fantastic. I also have Encounter None on because fuck that. We don't have patience for this shit. Not today. Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. I knew you would show up, buddy. So, technically, I think you're supposed to actually... You're not supposed to do this the way I'm doing it, because technically... The game hasn't told us this. Oh, there, there he is. Well, I guess we found him. He's here. He clearly knows it. I know it. We found, what? Okay, no offense game. That's really shitty design to put him in a room I've already been into. Because like, you're really relying on the player to be like, let me go back and check past rooms. Cause I hate to break it to you. Most players don't. Oh, nothing this time? Nothing, really? Okay. You can put blind on Squall. He really doesn't give a shit. Like, he's not gonna miss. You're literally wasting your energy at this point. 255. Biatch! And you're silenced. 
So you've literally accomplished nothing. You got nothing out of this. It was literally a waste of your time. How is he? Is this? Oh, okay. Oh, he's not, he's not, oh, well, you can't cast magic. Yeah, that's not, that's, I, I shut that shit down immediately. <laughs> that, that shit got shut down like day one. All right. Just gonna eliminate these assholes one by one. Meteor stone. Oh, wow, I'm just getting stone after stone, aren't I? You know, if I'm gonna sit here and go through this a level of hassle, I might as well make sure I'm getting good shit out of this because I refuse. Absolutely refuse to live in a world where I get shitty skills. I want good skills at all times. Thank you. Yeah, Remedy. That should be fine. I still have, I have Mega Potions. <laughs> Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Okay, Yellow Propagator, right? Mm. Alright, so the next yellow one is near where I found the second purple one, actually. Okay. That should be easy. Process of elimination. We'll get these assholes murdered in no time. I think at some point I'm supposed to find a data log that tells me, like, what I already knew going into this. So he should be in here, right? That's a green. That's absolutely, that's a green. I'm looking for yellow. Or do I have to just, like, avoid, I got to avoid him, don't I? Uh... Okay, I gotta go around this asshole. There we go. Ah, okay. Well, found him. We, we got it. It's fine. No, no, it's fine. Don't worry, we got him. All right, look buddy, you gotta die, so get silenced. Yeah, not gonna lie, he kind of hits. Oh, you're asleep now, bitch. You are sleepins. You are sleepins. That's how we get down out here on these these streets. And he goes down. Well, you know, not everybody can be uh, can be interesting, right? All right, all right, we're almost done. Two more to go. Sub, homeboy. Yeah, you gotta die. You gots to die. This is arguably the easiest I've ever made this for myself. I usually don't make this that easy. Up, uh, hey, you know what? I've had to kill like eight of these. I'm gonna kill eight of these damn things. If, if Odin only pops up for two of them, that's still one fourth. I am okay with one-fourth of my fights being handled by the badass swordsman who murders people. He beheaded him, too. He didn't just slice him in half. He took his head off. That's... That's dark, man. Deathstone. Five more AP. You know what? I'm not even mad about that. All right. Last one is actually kind of a backtrack. Not a big backtrack, but... We actually didn't, like, do what we were supposed to do, because you're supposed to find, like, data entries that tell you about this, because, you know, it's how the game kind of intends for you to handle this situation. It kind of intends for you to, like, fumble around for a while, try to figure it out, but not really. Oh. Oh! Okay. That was, that was there. Cool. So what's in here, then? Ah, report on the monsters breeding on this ship. We eliminated all the monsters on this ship, but we leave this report in case they breed again. The monsters are three to six meters tall, extremely hostile and savage. They are ferocious carnivores and have attacked and devoured numerous crew members. There are eight independent monsters, but they are also one entity. The monsters can be killed through regular combat, but it must be done systematically. For example, if you kill one monster in a certain place and kill another one in a different place, the monster you killed may be revived by another monster. 
the eight monsters work together to maintain their colony. They seem immortal, but they are not. Killing them in a certain order prevents them from reviving one another. Here is a more clear example. Let's name the mon let's name the eight monsters with the letters A through H. Let's say monster B can revive monster A. Monster D can revive monster C and so on. If you kill monster B after you kill monster A, monster A will never be able to revive. We have confirmed that the monsters that the monsters that are paired up have similar features. That is all the information we have. Good luck. Um, so basically we have to kill them in pairs that have the same colors, right? Yeah, so I guess the game's the game's internal logic is you would have fumbled your way killing these things for like 20 minutes got to that and then figured it out, but you know Fuck that. I have shit to do. I'm not gonna fumble around in this nonsense. I am still rank 30 I have not been able to regain that rank a I had that rank A for like one episode and lost it. Hey, buddy. Taking time? Oh, okay, never mind. Fuck you, then. You know, I hope you better hope my buddy Odin doesn't show up. He does not fuck around. He's serious, man. Odin does not give a shit about your feelings. Oh, you lucky. He didn't show up. But you sleeping, though. Oh, you sleeping. Oh, you sleeping on this track. Oh, you thought this was a game. No. You give me the stiff arm. What the hell is this garbage? Sleep, bitch. Go to sleep, homie. Uh, now you're silenced. Yeah, that magic ain't gonna work for you, is it? Yeah, yeah I mean, I get it. Shooting blank sucks, but you're, you're not stopping me. And that's all she wrote. Uh, fairly safe to say I have adequately murdered all the things they are all murdered every single one of them they have all died now we are done here now that we've murdered them all we can actually uh, finish this section how has it been 17 how has it been that long how have I been at this that long this was easy this should have been I should not be taking that long but, I mean, I guess shit happens, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not even mad about it. I mean, I am, but not, like, really mad. All right. Sweetness. Let's go. Wow. I have to fly this thing? Squall, it's trying to talk. Volume. This is Estar Air Station. It's Ragnarok. Do you read? Ragnarok. Do you read? A radio signal. This is Air Station. Do you copy? This ship is the Ragnarok. Whoa! Is this really the Ragnarok? You're in space, right? Yeah, but I have no idea where we are. Roger that. We can track you from here. We can go home? Ragnarok, it's been 17 years. Can we make it back? Leave it to us. You should have enough fuel. Enter your location into the atmospheric reentry program and you'll be okay. Once you enter the atmosphere, we can guide you down. You'll be just fine. Uh, how do I enter the data? No sweat. We'll take this step by step. Are you in the pilot seat? Uh, there's too many seats here. It's the one on the right. Go sit there. Alright, I'm here. See the touch panel in front of you? Yeah, I see it. The rest is easy. Just enter and just enter the following data. Go ahead. W J H E I E da um da slash entered, then two eight seven two slash H D score I E U entered, no errors, it's fine. Next, I'm sure you're okay, but there's something I need you to do. 
Turn off the gravity generator. This should save some fuel. Use the same touch panel to turn it off. All right. This must be it. Done. Congratulations. You're home free, Ragnarok. And there's one more thing we need to tell you. From all of us at Ground Control, we wish you Godspeed. Thanks. <laughs> hey, bitch, you forgot about the... Oh, no. Go, go sit over there. Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> what were you expecting, you dumbass? Will it be home soon? Hopefully. Now go sit down. Just a little longer. Why are you holding on to me like this? You don't like this, Squall? Just not used to it. How about when you were little? Didn't you feel safe and secure being held by your parents? I can't remember anything about my parents. But alone was there for me. Alone was there to hold my hand. Made you feel safe and secure? Sure. But she left just disappeared oh well shit I guess while well, you're just gonna go through all the text that's fun well enjoy
I don't know what to do. This is just another crossroad in my life, but for the first time, I don't know which way to go. I've come this far because I've fallen for you. With Noah. Now, am I just supposed to let you go? Sorceress Renoa, Heinz Descendant. Come with us. We must seal your power for the sake of the world. All right. Thank you for understanding. Tell us when you're ready. I should tell you this before I go. I was possessed out in space. There was a sorceress inside me. Ultimacia, a sorceress from the future. She's trying to achieve time compression. She's the only one who'd be able to exist in such a world. She and no other. As long as I'm free, she'll continue to use me to accomplish her goal. I... We can't let that happen, right? Uh, I should go now. I'm ready. All right. We'll be heading to the Sorceress Memorial. Renoa, don't go. Thanks, Squall, but I have to go. Renoa. Oh, I still have your ring. You keep it. You sure? Yeah. This is what Renoa decided. There's nothing I can do about it. Right? Ugh. Talk about a bummer. Jesus. I mean, there's really nothing we can do, right? She's, she's gone, Squall. You're just gonna have to live with that, my dude. You lost the girl. She is a sorceress, and now she's literally gone. Ugh. This sucks. This, this is the worst outcome for any video game, really. Selfie! Woohoo! I'm back! How did you get here? It was so bad. The impact from the landing knocked me out cold. When I woke up, it was just me and Piet. Piet? Oh, the guy who escaped with us. What happened to Alone? Sis wasn't there. I hope she's alright. Piet said he'd wait for the rescue crew. I found a chocobo, so I went for a run, and then I came upon this ship, and there you were, Squall. I see. Hey, uh, does this ship fly? Does it move? Who knows? Squall. That was so cool when you jumped out into outer space. 
just like a hero from a storybook. Hey, where's the heroine? The heroine. Renoa's. Sup, Squall? So glad you're safe. I hate to tell you this now, but we've got major problems down here. Well, here it goes. Some big thing called Lunatic Pandora came out of nowhere. Matron couldn't achieve what she set out to do because of it. Which is okay. Matron's not a sorceress anymore. Matron gave away her power to someone without realizing it. To Renoa. And, uh... Oh, yeah. The Galbadian army... Is, Galbadian military is controlling the Lunatic Pandora. They excavated it from the ocean where Eslar sank it years ago. Inside the Lunatic Pandora, there's this thing called a crystal pillar. It calls monsters from the moon. Then monsters came fall falling from the moon. Total panic down here! It wasn't just monsters that came falling down. Sorceress Adele came down along with her, along with the machine that confined her. I guess the stream of falling monsters engulfed the machine. Lunatic Pandora caught Adele from that stream. Dr. O'Dallion thinks that may have been Galbadia's true intent. Meaning... Zell, that's enough for now. But Squall! I know. I know we have problems. But I can't think right now. What's wrong, Squall? Renoa is a sorceress now. She retrieved. She received Matron's powers. An escort from Esthar came to pick Renoa up. Renoa is an Esthar now. We have to go get her. Was she taken by force? No, it was Renoa's decision. She was scared about being a sorceress. Scared of being feared, hated. Scared that no one would want to be around her. She said she couldn't handle that. Didn't you try to stop her, Squall? It was Renoa's decision. What right do I have to object? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Quistus is going to whoop your ass. Oh, stop that. What are you talking about? Why did you have to go out of your... Why did you go all the way out into outer space to save Renoa? To hand her over the Esthar? So that you might never see her again? No, right? Wasn't it because you wanted to be with her? You're a fool. Seriously, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everybody's calling him out now. A fool, huh? Maybe. What am I doing? I may never get to hear Renoa's voice ever again. What the hell am I doing? What can I do? Of course. Have you decided? Heading to Estar, right? Pandora, whatever, and Sorceress Adele are out of my hands. I don't even know where to look for Sis. The only thing I know is Renoa. The only thing I want to do for sure right now is for Renoa. We're going to get her back. All right, move out, move out the way, homeboy. Whoa! Ah! Hey! Uh, excuse me. We're flying? I hope this ain't the case, but I can picture a selfie in the pilot seat and... Selfie and selfie screaming, Woohoo! We're flying! And standing next to her, a very excited Irving. Well, everybody, the next chapter of this amazing LP is about to begin. And we are now officially effing airborne. Woohoo! We're flying. Selfie's just amazing. You sure you can fly this? It kind of just took off. I don't know. It's pretty easy. I think I'll be fine. But there's no guarantee it won't crash. 
No one can predict the future, right? Selfie, head for Estar. She's probably at the Sorceress Memorial. We're going to go rescue Renoa. All right, everybody. All right. Well, next time on Final Fantasy VIII, everybody, we're going to rescue Renoa. And uh, we have some side quest bullshit to get done because we are fucking behind. Until then, guys, stay tuned. I am signing out, and I will see you all next time. Um, yeah, next next time, right? Yeah, here. This is fun. Boom. All right.